हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand op-amp DC and AC amplifiers. Op-amp is nothing but operational amplifier. So it will perform some mathematical operation and also it will amplify the weak signal. That's why it is known as operational amplifier. So operational amplifier is commonly known as op-amp. In an operational amplifier, the input can be dc signal or ac signal so if the input is dc then it will act as a dc amplifier and if the input is ac it will act as ac amplifier there are three types of circuits when we use op amp as an amplifier first one is inverting amplifier second one is non inverting amplifier and third one is differential amplifier if we consider an op amp it consists of three important terminal two input terminals and one output terminal so if you can observe here it is having plus sign minus sign these polarities indicates the type of input terminals plus sign indicates the terminal is non inverting terminal and minus sign indicates this input terminal is inverting terminal if the input is applied to non inverting terminal output will be non inverted which means output will be in the same phase as the input and if the input is applied to the inverting terminal the output will be having 180 degree phase shift with respect to input which is applied so this is very important which you need to remember here output voltage of an op amp can be given as a into v plus minus v minus so here a is the amplification gain of an op amp and v plus and v minus are the difference between the voltage so v not can be given as a into v plus minus v minus if we consider the inverting amplifier at that case v plus will be equal to 0 because we are applying voltage only across the inverting terminal that's why v plus will be made as 0 therefore v not will be equal to minus a v minus so here output voltage will be equal to minus a into v minus which means here negative sign indicates 180 degree phase shift in the output for a non inverting amplifier v minus will be equal to 0 therefore v not will be equal to a v plus so you need to remember this now let us understand the operation of amplifier when input is dc signal so when input is dc signal at that case op amp will act as dc signal amplifier let us consider the first circuit which is inverting amplifier so in an inverting amplifier we know the input should be given to inverting terminal of an op amp so other terminal should be connected to ground let us draw the circuit at the input terminal let us consider two resistance before giving the input let us call this as r1 and r2 so here for the inverting terminal let us connect the dc voltage so let us take that as voltage v other terminal of an op amp will be connected to ground we know op amp should always be used with a feedback let us connect a resistor between input side and output side let us call that as rf this resistor is known as feedback resistor across the output side let us connect the load resistor let us call that as rl where we will be measuring the output voltage so here since the input is connected to the inverting terminal of an op amp output will be amplified but it is inverted when it is compared with the input 
So let us consider the input and output waveform. So this is the representation of input and output waveform. So this is the origin of input waveform. So this is the DC signal. If we observe the output from this origin point, the output is inverted as well as it is amplified. So the output voltage will be equal to minus A V since we are using the inverting amplifier. So this is the circuit of non-inverting amplifier. So the circuit is similar to inverting amplifier. The only difference is the input is connected to non-inverting terminal and the inverting terminal is connected to ground. Since input is connected to the inverting terminal, output will be having the same phase as the input. Output will not be inverted. So this is the input and output waveform. So here, as you can see, this is the input DC signal. So the output is amplified and it is in the same phase as input. Now let us consider the differential amplifier. We know in a differential amplifier, the input is applied to both non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal of an op-amp. So if the input is applied to non-inverting terminal and inverting terminal of an op-amp, at that case, the output will be difference between the two input voltages. So it will be V1 minus V2 and then it is multiplied with the amplifier gain of an op-amp. So if we consider two inputs, let us consider V1 and V2. The output will be difference between V1 and V2 and it is also multiplied with the gain value of an op-amp. So this is the DC waveform for the differential amplifier circuit. So here you need to remember that if V1 is greater than V2 at that case the output of differential amplifier will be non-inverted and if V2 is greater than V1 then the output of differential amplifier will be inverted output. Now let us consider the AC input to an operational amplifier. If you consider AC input which means the op-amp will act as AC signal amplifier. Again in AC signal amplifier there are three circuit. First one is inverting amplifier, second one is non-inverting amplifier and third one is differential amplifier. So only difference between the AC amplifier and DC amplifier is that in an AC amplifier we will be using the AC input signal and in DC amplifier we will be using the DC input signal. Since we are using AC input signal it is generally represented as V of T which means this voltage is varying with respect to time T. So output will be V naught of T so which means the output voltage is varying with respect to time T. In an inverting amplifier the input is connected to inverting terminal of an op-amp which means output will be having 180 degree phase shift compared to the input signal. So this is the input and output waveform. So here we are considering the input waveform which is having the amplitude as Vm and here the output waveform is inverted when it is compared with the input and it is amplified. That's why we will get the output waveform with amplitude A Vm in the positive side and at the negative half of the input we will be having minus A Vm. In a non-inverting amplifier the input is connected to non-inverting terminal of an op-amp which means output will be having the same phase as the input. So if we consider the input and output waveform here as you can observe this is the input waveform and the output waveform is in the same phase as input waveform. Only thing is it is amplified with gain A. If we consider the differential amplifier, the AC signals are applied to both the terminal of an op-amp which means output voltage will be difference between these two input AC signals. That's why we can write V0 will be equal to A into V1 of T minus V2 of T. So these are the input and output waveforms. So we are considering two input waveforms. So output waveform V0 of T 
will be difference between these two waveform and it is amplified with amplifier gain a again here you need to remember if v1 is greater than v2 output will be non inverted output and if v2 is greater than v1 at that case output of the differential amplifier will be inverted output this is about op amp dc and ac amplifiers hope you have understood the topic thank you